and they, they, they also call it Danny style. A lot of different makers, different uh, prop builders have different names. This is served as metal lip swimmers. You work them, they don't cast well. The problem is they don't cast well. But the thing is, they imitate large bay fish. So once you cast into the water, you work them very slow. They usually go S, like this, or they go wobble, 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 like this. And they will leave a big V wake behind of the pot. Big V wake. No matter if they go S, like this, or they go wobble, 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 they will leave a big V wake. This is a good plug when full run, let's say full run, the herring shows up, the bunker shows up, and you have a day that the sea is about one to two feet. You have a lot of white water. You can see the oxygen gets pumped up, and the bass is feeding right on the white water. Because first of all, you don't need long distance. You just cast this right onto the white water and just work it. And work it very slow, just through the wave. You can see the wave brings a plug to the top, and the next wave comes. Just work it, straight, straight work it. And the get like a tango dance with the weight and then you can see the bass just follow it behind it and the, you know this is good color yellow is good uh, I don't have a yellow is very good uh, yeah this is a herring color when the herring show up blue blue herring show up then four on herring shows up this is good color and at night time uh, night time black like I say black purple that's my favorite color the the most important thing is work it as slow as possible. As slow. Don't work them fast, fast, fast like you, when you work top water action product. When you get excited, you want pop, 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 so you forget your retrieve speed. Those those products they they want to be very slow, very slow, kind of like lazy. I don't want to move today, and I also want to move a little bit. I don't want to move today. Fish like kind of those like emotions, you know, like a, like a, a bay fish swim that fast, but fish wants this emotion like, oh, I'm tired, and then, oh, I swim a little bit, I'm tired, I swim a little bit. Fish like those kind of emotions. So, as slow as possible, even when you retreat very slow, stop it. And, the, you know, you will hang there like this, and then keep going, you know. And then, surface metal lip swimmer, we also have another one, it's called subsurface metal lip swimmer. They also be divers, divers like this one. This is a subsurface. They have, a, you can see the big difference. Those guys, they won't dive. They stay on top of the water. They stay on the top of the water, do this. They won't dive. They can go like this into the water. But those guys, they can dive deep. They, once you first initial retrieve, you speed it up, they go right away. They won't stay on the top of water, do like this. They will dunk direct right away into the, into the deeper water. So this is sometimes a plug that a fish has currents not the front beach, I'm talking about inland. When you're on the jetty, you have strong outgoing tide. This is the thing you want to through at that kind of current. So this is subsurface metal lip, surface metal lip. Plastic swimmers. This is a plastic swimmer, bomber. You can get them very cheap, but they catch fish. They really, really catch fish. I caught uh, I call this is a nighttime color, black and purple. It's my favorite, and uh, they have smaller version. I think they have five inch, seven inch. This is a bigger version. I catch a lot of fish on this on the nighttime when the day is very calm. They are, they are the same thing. They are kind of between a surface metal lip swimmer and a subsurface because when you work slow, they're on top. They do like SS like on the top, or they leave a big V wick behind. When you <coughs> first retrieve. I will retrieve fast. They go, shoom, goes in. And then you slow down your retrieve, they will stay in that deep depth. They just go like this. So they can be, they can work, they are not like a subsurface, it's just divers. Surface is standing. They are kind of like a between. You can work them up on your retrieve speed. Slow, they stay on top. Fast, first couple crank wants to get them deep, they will go down. And then they just go rattle, 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 rattle like this. Uh, the last thing I want to say about swimmers is be creative. Be creative. Can you? I didn't bring it. Otherwise, you guys probably gonna be really surprised of it. No difference, right? They are all Danny style, but 
this guy has a group here. This guy doesn't have. Why, why am I having a group here? It's not my idea. This has old timers. They did a long, long, long time ago. Just recently, somebody brought it up. EO scheme. Everybody knows EO catch big stride bands, right? But EO has some problem. Is if I have a strong wind, I have to have a strong outgoing tide. If I just casting live EOs into the current, oh yeah. Besides, I have a big EO. Of course, the EOs can go down to the bottoms. Otherwise, the EO cannot. The EO will get drift so fast just towards the inlet. Or if it's a phase wind, I can't cast those. Besides, you have a real four feet, five feet EOs. Yes, you have to wait. But if I peel off a skin from the dead EOs, I peel off the skin from the dead EOs, and I put onto this plug. Just imagine that's an EO skin. I put onto this plug, and I I tie a groove here. This became an eel skin plug. It will cast very well because this has weight. And uh, when you go, I can go to any depth I want. I can put on the surface, slow retrieve, they will do an eel skin. The eel tail is here, goes back and forth, just like eel do the S shape. And uh, if I want to fish a couple feet down, five feet down, I can crank it, and then it will stay on the bottom, and the eels will stay on the bottom. So be creative. Uh, Dino's book. He did a great, great detail on this, how to make it from step one all the way to step two about EOSkin. Anybody have any questions?